everyone. Um, I someone asked me to do a video um, on my Silhouette Studio Design Edition on a, with my Mac because I own a Mac and not a PC. And they had asked me to do a couple of videos. Unfortunately, my daughter <laughs> broke her arm, so it's taking me a little bit. But today we're gonna. Um, I'm going to show the lady how I set up my page on my design studio. So now this is, like I said, I have a silhouette design edition, a silhouette studio designer edition. Sorry, little can't tongue tied, but um, we're going to use the grid. So I go to this blue thin and I hit the grid. And in doing that, that little brown thin around, like right here, this will disappear when you hit the grid. Once you hit the grid, there's nothing there. What I have, the way I set mine up, is that I hit ruler, and ruler gives me the numbers, the ruler. It lets me know where my mount, the little pointer is when I move my mouse. And then also I then set my spacing to one, one inches. And once I set my space into one inches, I hit my grid so I can see that it's one inches. Then I also hit snap to grid. And the next thing I do is I set my division to eight. And that gives me a, um, one eighth of an inch in between. So as you can see, it goes to one eighth, one eighth, one eighth, one eighth. And I like that because it gives a little bit more accuracy for me and that's what I like and people can change it but to me it's a perfect spaces between. Next then what I do is I turn on my crosshairs and my crosshair as you see is this. Uh, let me show you guys. This is the crosshair. Is It might be too far in. Hold on just a moment. It's this long, oh, stop, stop. Okay, it's this line right here, if you guys can see it, the one that moves. So for example, if I'm going to make a circle and I want it to stop right here and right here, it's perfect. And once again, I'm going to make a circle. I'm going to use my crosshair. I'm going to start right here at this corner. And I want it to go to the bottom and to this corner. So it's one inch by one inch. The crosshair allows it to be accurate. And I like that. The other thing about circles is if you notice my circle, I wanted to show some, someone else asked about this, is that your circle comes from outside to the outside. Well, they were saying that they saw somewhere that you could do it from the inside out. And that is true. Um, on a PC, it was, it's possible, but it's also possible on a Mac. Mac, because we don't have an Alt button, for this to work, you just have to hit Shift. Hold down the Shift key on your keyboard and pull out. And that's it. So once again, hold down the shift key on the Mac. Go from wherever you want. And as you see, it goes from the small circle to an outside circle. I did a bad job on that one, but sorry. So let's say I don't use the shift button. I am not holding the shift button. Now I want to make a circle. It goes from the outside. In. However, if I'm holding the shift button to make the circle, it goes from the 
the tiny little circle as you see inside this tiny circle to a big circle. So let's say I want it to be to here, oh, a, half an, a half an inch, an inch and a half by an inch and a half. And that's it. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, it will also work, I'm sure, with a square. Oops, sorry, I didn't hit it. It does the same thing with a square. It goes from a little one to a big one. If you notice, it just makes it more accurate. Uh, let's say I want it. that bigger all right if you guys have any questions please let me know um, leave a comment or I will let you um, see another video in, in a couple of days you know on something else but if you have a questions or you guys want to see a specific video on the Mac please let me know and I will try to do that for you guys thanks have a nice day